Okay. Come on, get in here. Might as well. We on? <laughs> Just get in the picture, new for the love of God. Get in the picture. Jeez. Okay, so here we are. Guys, get in. Who, 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 introduce yourself, please. Um, my name is District Leader Jeffrey Davis. For the, I represent the 43rd Assembly District, which is right here in Crown Heights. And who is that behind you? This is my son. Devin and Bats Davis. All right. So go on. Go and who on. are you? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Mesha. Mesha Kravitsky. Mesha Kravitsky. I represent Crown Heights. I've been a resident of Crown Heights for the last 50 years. <laughs> for the last 50 years. And um, we're going to put a children's book together. We're writing a wonderful children's book. So this isn't it. This, this is, is not, not the, the book. This is not the children's book. But we're going to be writing a children's book. Show all the children's books. So we're doing our research. We're going to write a children's book from the ages of two to about six years old, growing up in Crown Heights, where the Ribby spoke to my brother and I and talked to us. So we're going to tell wonderful stories. Well, you say that again. Growing up in Crown Heights, where the? Where the Ribby. The Ribby, my friend. The Ribby spoke to us when we were children, when he walked past our house on Brooklyn Avenue. So we're going to tell different little stories and tell the children to love your parents, behave yourself, love your brother, and do well, and grow up and stay in school. That's what the children's book is going to be about. So what are you going to, you said, you said before that in the book you're going to put the... Oh, you like that part? Oh, I love that part. Oh, that's the part. Okay, that's, that's the part. That's the whole that's thing. The in the book. That's the key. We're guys, getting, wait, 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 wait. You guys, pay, your ears you should like perk love up. Love yourself. Love your brother. This love your neighbor. Like crazy. One community. Right? So he used to do a lot of things. He used to give us dollars. So we're going to put that in the book, our little stories as children, with him walking past our house. And that's going to be... And that's going to be great. Amazing. So we're doing our research on children's books. We did the wording already. They're putting the Rebbe in this book. They're putting the Rebbe in this children's book. Yes. Who are you going to get into uh, illustrate it? We're searching now. That is the illustrator be... is the key. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. The illustrator is the that's most the important. Thing. And where, where, do you, where, where you got to sell it? All over the world. Oh, the children's books. Every, every come about all over the world. We're going to promote it and advertise it all over the world. Everyone's going to buy Everyone's still going to buy this. It's going to be amazing. All over the world. Amazing. Growing up in Crown Heights. Growing up in Crown Heights. How long are we expecting to see it? I, I see July. July. I see, the, the book is written. Now we're doing the illustration. We got an illustrator doing it now. The book is done. Now we got to illustrate it and then we got to package it. And we're going to send it out. Because the Crown Heights is the Mecca. Crown Heights is the world headquarters. So everyone wants to hear about Crown Heights. So these are two children and our story growing up in Crown Heights. It's beautiful. Get the book. Get the book. Ten bucks. If you got five children, if you have five children at home, ten is low balling it. Ten is really low. You should have ten bucks. Like, if you have five children, okay, they got to share. Give me two. Buy two. <laughs> Let two at least. Buy two if you got five. They got to share. If you got ten children, I got to get the. Uh, <laughs> give me three books out of the household. <laughs> we'll work out the details afterwards. Don't worry. About we'll the work problems. out the details. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Uh, ready? Wait, for the sake. On the weekends. Wait, wait, wait. No, camera's not going on. Okay. Go. Go. Yeah. On the weekends. I was about seven, eight, nine years old. I was a child myself. The Ribby used to walk from the synagogue, the world headquarters, on Eastern Parkway, down Brooklyn Avenue. That's where my brother and I was playing catch, playing baseball, playing anything as little children do. And he goes home to President Street. So we got to look forward to him coming by every Saturday. Like this. And we said, and then when he came by, it was about 500 people behind him. Not up close, about a half a block from him peeking around the corner. As though he didn't know they were there. <laughs> like this. Uh, he like this. Uh, bro. <laughs> like this. And they closed the street down. They used to climb on top of cars and just try to peek and follow him home. And he was like this. So he got to know us because he did the route all the time. So it was a to-do for us. So we'd be like, look, he's coming. Hey, hey, hey. like, hello, how are you? Hey, little boys, how are you? He said, how you doing? And kept going. And then he used to say things to us. Love yourself. Behave yourself. Respect your brother. Love your mother. Stay in little stuff. Stay in school. Every time something else. Conti every time. Continuously. Cont he got, we were neighbors. He's on President Street. We're on Brooklyn Avenue. And he came from Eastern Parkway. So he said, there's the two little children like this. Mm. And sometimes we're fighting. He <laughs> like this up. Oh, these two again, <laughs> like this. So it was a wonderful, wonderful, but I didn't look at him like the Rebbe. I just looked at him like a neighbor and a friend. Mm -hmm. And then later on, as I grew up, I said, that was it. And I seen pictures. I said, hey, that's our friend. So, so you didn't know who the Rebbe was? Okay? No, just a nice man. A nice what year, what year was that? I was a kid. We're, we're, we're not doing the math here. I'm 54 years old. I was 10. What year is that? Somebody do the math. I'm um, 54. Huh? In, in the 70s. In the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had the house by 71, 72. In the 70s. So it was huge. So now I see the pictures, the motion, and I'm just, it's a blessing. And I'm happy. So I said, what I'll do is I'll honor 
the community, him, myself, with a children's book. So I was you ever walking. got to the Raven for Dollars? Oh, did I get one? Oh, yes. And I bought candy. <laughs> what do I know? I bought candy for crying out loud. But we went to the Raven's Grave in Queens for a blessing. But as that's when, as an adult, when I got to know then. So you write on a piece of paper and you throw it in. You know, so they got to know then how powerful and unique and beautiful Crown Heights is. Crown Heights, Brooklyn, number one. Remember that. Crown Heights. Number one. Crown number Heights. One, Crown one. Heights, number one. Jeffrey Davis, district leader. Now I'm an elected official in this area. District leader Jeffrey Davis. My brother was the councilman, Jamesy e. Davis. Grew up right here in Crown Heights. Crown Heights, number one. Number one. So you wherever you're at, watching this all over the world, know that Crown Heights. <laughs> yes. <laughs>